Four wins in our last four games. Five points off top spot in the Premier League with a game to spare top of our Champions League group. I think it's time that we start having a look at Manchester United as a whole, as Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as a whole, because only, what, four weeks ago, there were real calls for maybe Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to be sacked. But is that the case now? Has there been real progress? Or are there still question marks? Or has there been a bit of both? I think it's probably that. Before I do start this video, make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. I had a bit of a quiet November, but it's December now, and I'm back. So let's go. Now, before I do quickly start, please follow the link in the description and download the OneFootball app. OneFootball have sponsored this video. Thank you very much to the guys over at OneFootball. If you don't have the app by now, genuinely, it really is a good app. It helps you with all the news, helps you with the stats before and after the game. It's fantastic. And they really have helped United People's TV over the years. So make sure you follow the link in the description. If you haven't downloaded the OneFootball app for free, use that link. It will help United People's TV and it will help you too because it is a good app. But let's talk about United right now because it depends on who you ask and where you look. United, if you look in one point, as I said, five points off top, game in hand, top of the Champions League group. It seems when Solskjaer is on the edge, is on the verge of looking downwards at a black hole because momentum is really against United, the performances aren't there. United rally and we've had four wins in a row since that has happened. So we've done it again and he's it's happened before, but I think the issue for United fans, and certainly an issue for me as well, is we rarely really carry that momentum forwards. It, it seems like when, when, when Solskjaer's on the edge, we rally, we respond. United play like United should, and we get the performances and the results that we want as United fans. And I hope, for, for me, I hope that Southampton game is the beginning of a moment, momentum shift, because Southampton, for me... It was, a t it was a team turnaround. 2-0 at half-time. Solskjaer made his subs. De Gea went off injured. Henderson came on. Cavani came on for Greenwood. And Cavani was the man that had the individual brilliant performance. But it was an overall team performance that turned that from a 2-0 to a 3-2. And I think that's probably been the gripe of a lot of United fans. In, even in some of the recent performances and the recent wins, we've relied on individual brilliance to get those results rather than having a full team performance. And basically, in, in a lot of those games, we've, we've relied on Bruno Fernandes having a stormer. And he has stormers most games, even when he's not playing that well. I don't think he played that well there against Southampton, but he still popped up with a goal. And then got an assist too. But for, for United fans, that, that, that consistency in performances... That's the thing that really has eluded us. And I think that's the thing that a lot of fans still feel is the biggest problem at United. But the numbers really don't lie. So, you know, as, as inconsistent as we have been, we're five points off top. We're above City. Arsenal have had their worst league start since 1979 after 10 games. And I've put a tweet out by this and I stand by this. I'm looking forward to seeing Mikel Arteta get the same sort of treatment that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer got. Because he was, he was lynched by the media. Every opportunity that the media has to, to point the finger at United, to point the finger at Solskjaer, that finger is firmly pointed. Let's see what happens now with Mikhail Arteta, who's looking more like David Moyes than Pep Guardiola at the moment. And Pep Guardiola were above City too. You know, it's mad, it's, it's mad that the drop in, uh, in quality at the top, I would say, in the Premier League this season. Liverpool have got their injuries, finally. They're struggling with, the, I think, probably their own success with the fixture pile-up. Jurgen Klopp. He's just complaining. He's, he loves complaining. Uh, Gary Neville pointed out that he's kind of looking a bit like Fergie and that he's trying to deflect away from the issues and trying to take some pressure off. I just think he's cracking up. It's, it's, it, it's difficult to win the Premier League. It's even harder to maintain that spot whilst everybody wants you to fail. That's where Fergie was the best and still will always be the best in the Premier League. And that's what Klopp and Liverpool are struggling to do right now. But focusing back on United... As I said, it all boils down to consistency because right now we've got PSG next and a bad result against PSG there. They leapfrog us in the Champions League. People start asking questions again. We go and we play West Ham at the weekend. We get a bad result or a bad performance there. The questions come back again. Right now, United are in that... We're on a swing where from one week to another week, it can be a brilliant week. It can be a terrible week. It can also be both in the same week. We beat Leipzig 5-0 in one of the best performances you'll see from United in a long time. And then 
We go and lose 1-0 to Arsenal at the weekend. One of the worst performances you'll see from United in a long time. And that, for me, is the, is the real focus, the real focal point, I think, for United right now and for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. That consistency is the thing that has eluded us throughout basically whole of, the whole of Solskjaer's tenure. That first three months, if you want to, we were great. And I suppose at that point, you can call that a consistent quarter. But then it followed a real tumble from United towards the end of the season where progress wasn't really consistent and continuous. And that's why Liverpool have got to where they have got to. Because that progress has been consistent. The steps have been one at a time, further up the ladder. But United, we jumped three up the ladder and then slipped back down two. And then jumped four up the ladder and come back down three. And it, it, it's like that. It's peaks and troughs. It's peaks. It's not just a nice slow curve upwards with United. It's we're either great or we're shit. There's not really an in-between ground where we just start piecing it together. And that's what United really have to do and have to achieve now because December is busy, man. We've got PSG, we've got West Ham, and I think we've got Leipzig, and I think we've got City at the weekend. The games are coming thick and fast, and they are not easy games. But given where we were four weeks ago and the questions that were being asked about Solskjaer, about United, about his future at the club, it's been a hell of a response. There really has been. And seeing Donny van der Beek start against Southampton, it makes you question whether maybe Solskjaer did the right thing in keeping Donny in the shadows a little bit and putting him in when he felt he was ready because he looked ready. His one type, he was basically press resistant. Anybody tried to press him, he just passed it straight away. So Donny now is in the team, surely. I mean, if he gets dropped for PSG, then you're scratching your head again. But that consistency... That really is the thing that if Solskjaer manages to get, because look, we've got the quality of the players. We've got Bruno Fernandes, we've got Donny van der Beek, you've got Cavani there, you've got Martial, Rashford, you've got Pogba. Matic has a role to play. Fred has a role to play. McTominay. We have quality in this team. No doubt about it. We need, Clearly, we still need the right winger. We clearly still need a new centre-back. Alex Tellez is setting in as well. There's clearly ways we can improve this team, but let's not get it twisted and say this is a shit United team. It's one of the best United squads that we've had in a long time. There's balance in this team to be found. And that's probably with Matic at the bottom of a diamond, with Van der Beek and Fred in front of him and Fernandes in front of him. For me, that feels like a foursome which works. Really, really works. Rather than playing McTominay on the right and Fred at the base of the diamond like we did against Arsenal, that was just bad management. But the consistency is a thing because we, we're capable of results. 4-1 against Istanbul, 5-0 against Leipzig. We beat PSG away from home. Wonderful. 3-2 against Southampton from 2-0 down. There's plenty of occasions this season you can say, well, look, look, at that. look at that great performance from United. But there's also plenty of occasions where you can say, hmm, whether that be the 1-0 against Arsenal or the Crystal Palace game at the start of the season. It, there's been plenty of terrible performances as well. And what United need to do is... Maybe flatten out those highs and, and, and flatten out those lows and bring it up into a middle ground where that consistent growth curve can happen because that's what we just haven't had. It's been like that. We've been like a stock performing in this mad Corona market. So it goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. But what United need is just a steady, steady upward curve from now on. We've got that momentum of the four wins. We need to make sure we keep that. Look, draw against PSG is an excellent result. Top of the group with one game to play, all in our hands. And I think there'll be PSG. No, it's Leipzig we play last, so PSG play Istanbul. Still in our hands. If we, as long as we don't lose against PSG, still in our hands. Go away to West Ham, they've just lost. No, they, no, they just beat Aston Villa, actually, 2-1. Watkins had the penalty in the VAR. So they've won, but it's West Ham. We can't be fucking scared of playing West Ham. We certainly can't be scared of playing David Moyes, man. Look. It's about finding those consistency of performances between the games. You can't play one way on a Tuesday and then a different way on a Saturday or on a Wednesday or a Sunday. United in one week has to be visibly similar to United the next week. That comes down to Solskjaer, that comes down to the management team, that comes down to everything. But United need to find that consistency. If we find that consistency from now on, it could be a different look United. Big up to the washing machine for doing that right in the background. Sounds like a hiss. Anyway, let me know what you think about United, about Solskjaer, about where we're at at the moment, about how you're feeling. Because for me, I can understand frustrations, but I can also understand excitement. As I said, I'll keep saying it, five points off top in the Premier League. 
after the start to the season we've had with a game in hand. That's a hell of a place to be in. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV and also make sure you follow the link in the description for One Football if you haven't downloaded it already. Whew. It's good to be back. We've got a busy December coming up. Thank you.